Hello everybody, it's me Scooter. I apologize for no music. Uh, I promise you I'll put music in our next video. Uh, I don't know which one it'll be, but I will play music in our next one. I just want to tell you, we had a bunch of things come up. I didn't leave work on time. I had to do a few extra things before I could leave. Yes, I still have a job, and yes, when my store manager came in, I told him what I did, and he sort of didn't really care um, at all. He, he just said, he said, you said what? And I said, yep. He said, okay. And that was pretty much the end of it. Um, so I guess I'm still employed in hell. Um, as you can see, everybody, we just did this a few minutes ago. We just took down the side. Um, I might have to go and get some black long zip cords. And I might have to zip to the kind of the swords. But as you can see, we now have the side open. So guess what? Anything goes, baby. We can run, you can jump, you can do all that. I got some of the water out of the turnbuckle. I just squeezed it. The one that was sagging, like an old woman's boob. Yes, I just uh, I just drained it. There are probably more that need to be drained, but I'm not worried about it. I mean, when summertime gets here in Alabama and it starts doing 102, 103 degrees, uh, um, I'm sure they'll, it'll just it'll go back to the way it was. It's just we've been having a lot of cold weather and rain. Hopefully tomorrow will be a beautiful day and me and the teddy bear can get out here and do some flying around. Um, first thing in the morning, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go and get some black zip ties. And I'm going to go put those on and I'm going to look for another stuffed animal. That I think that has what it takes to uh, be a backyard wrestler. A cheap, affordable one. I don't know where you find cheap stuff animals at because everybody thinks they're worth gold because they want a lot of money for them. But I don't think that should be the case with stuff animals. I think you should just have to pay people to take them. But that's just the way it is. Um, I would tell you more, but like I said, my laptop, my laptop will die if I unplug it. But this is what we did. We took off the side. We'll have to get some zip ties. We'll zip tie, tie it around the pole. Now. Like I said, we're going to try to have a Royal Rumble. I think the WWE's is the 25th. That's on a Sunday. So, I would like to try to have ours on the 24th if all possible. If the laptop will let us. Without crashing. If not, we'll just use my phone. And we'll do... Like we did part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. Which sucks because most parts do better on views than other parts. People go, what's the first thing? And then they'll just go to the end. Like they do SmackDown. Like me, I've got to the point when I watch WWE, Raw, and SmackDown, I'll let it, like, fast forward and all the boring matches, I just speed through them. So, yeah. But anyway, y'all, me and the bear is gonna have a match out here tomorrow. And if you see us out here doing a match, like my neighbors, if they see me doing a match, y'all want to grab a lawn chair and a couple of beers and watch us go at it. You are you are more than welcome to. I will not say a word. Matter of fact, it will probably be nice. Like I said, we try to get out here and every day and do one, but like I said, the weather has been an issue for us. Um, but in the morning, I'm gonna get up pretty early, as soon as possible, go to work, sneak, get some zip ties, because I know my work is the only one that probably sells the right size I need. And zip show those things with black ones and uh, cut the XOS slack off and um, and we have at it. Like I said, I like my trampoline. I put, I did cut a little bit, like I said yesterday's video, off the bar. Um, I was wanting to test the ring today, but I had to get rid of, in the Flying Jays parking lot, they left a forklift there. And there was like, I had to, in the woods, on our back parking lot, the truck drivers like to roll their tires back there because they don't have to pay the disposal fee. Well, I got rid of like, I got rid of 17 tires. I use an electric forklift, but I was boogieing on that thing. But yeah, uh, Molly, come here, Molly. But yeah, um, I know it's getting dark. I know you're probably having a hard time seeing this video. I just wanted to let you know that tomorrow, as soon as I can, we're going to zip tie. I'm going to go to Flying J's early in the morning. Get some zip ties. Zip tie those two poles right there. And, uh... 
I just had an incredible idea, y'all, when I was talking to y'all. Our Royal Rumble match is going to be different. One way in, one way out. The last person that gets thrown over the rope will be the winner. And I just had an idea. I just had an incredible brain fart. We are going to leave the ring like it is. We're going to leave the steel cage around the side. You have to throw all your opponents out that side right there. I got to post an event on Facebook just as soon as it gets near time that the 24th, that's a Saturday, probably at 2 p.m., we are going to have a one-way out and a one-way in Royal Rumble. There are no rules in a Royal Rumble. No disqualifications. Anything pretty much goes. We'll move the trampoline back. You run in this way, and you and you have to get thrown. You have to throw your opponent out of that way only. This is going to be crazy. That just my light bulb just went off when I thought of that. One way in and the one way out. The 24th is the name of our pay per view, and that's it. And the winner. Is the last person standing? Standing. I'm going to share this on Facebook. And men, and it will not be just men. It won't be just women. It'll be men and women mixed together. And like I said, the only way you can get in this paper, this one way in and one way out view is you got to sign the liability waiver. Once you sign the liability waiver, you're in. And we're going to have as many people that will show up. That's incredible. That just came to me in a New York second. In a hot second. But as you can see, everybody, this will be moved. We will move it out of the way. But the only way in and out is right there. If your feet touch the ground, you're eliminated. You get in your car, you go home. Or you can stay and interfere in the match because, like I said, if you don't like the fact that somebody threw you out, you can jump back in there and throw them out. Or, well, you can't throw them out, but you can help the other people get them out if you wanted to. But you can't get back in. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can help. You can't get back in the ring, but if somebody throws you out, you can help the people inside the ring get them out. So, like I said, come here, Molly. Come here, my beautiful baby. Come here. Where's Anna at? Come here. It's getting dark. Come here. Come here. Look at the camera. Look. You're my baby. Say, Daddy, you glad I'm home? Yeah. You're getting skinnier now that I let you out every day and let you go running. Okay, go and run. Go get that cat. But yeah, everybody. One way in and one way out will be the name of our pay-per-view come the 24th. That's the way in. And if you get front over top of the rope, you're out. And if you want to be in this pay-per-view, all you got to do is come to our house today to pay-per-view at 2 p.m. My address will be in the description below. At 2 p.m., you show up and you try to be the last man or woman to get thrown out of this cage. And if you do, I showed you in the last video which belt you will be winning. That was incredible. But everybody, it's starting to get dark. And I know you're probably going to start seeing a hard time seeing me. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this stuff up. i got to put some of the tools up, y'all. Uh, when I first got in, I had to unstop the bathroom sink. And I was sleeping, and a wash rag accidentally went down the drain. So, I had to get a snake. And I had to snake it out. It came out, thank God. It was in there for like a couple of days. So, I got a snake, and I got it out. So, we're all good down the bathtub's fine. But yeah, everybody, tomorrow, me and the bear, like I said, we're going to have a match. We will record it. We hope that you, y'all all will please subscribe, like, and comment. And we hope come the 24th, which I think is the Saturday. I'm not sure. My phone's in the house. We hope that y'all will show up and be a part of this pay-per-view. I won't be in it. I'm going to let other people be in it. I'm going to let y'all get y'all's 15 minutes of fame. I want you to see how hard this is. Everybody think, well, Scooter, you just get in there. Let me tell you something about ring. When you're in the wrestling ring, from the time you get in there, you have to be thinking, what am I going to do next after I do this? What do I do if he does this? Blah, blah, blah. You're always thinking. You're always thinking. 
what are you going to do? What are you going to do next? What are you going to do next? Even when you're not even, you know, you, that's what you got to do in wrestling. You got to say, okay, he does this. What am I going to do? Oh, he does this. Do, do, do. He did that. Now what do I do? You got to have, it's hard. Even with the bear. When the bear messes up and I sort of, I have to figure something on the fly. And it's really, you got to, you got to go. But everybody, please, thank you for subscribing, watching our videos. I know it ain't in the ring action, but like I said, we had a few complications today, and I wasn't able to get home in time. Time to do it. But everybody, uh, please be ready. Me and the bear will be having our first match on the trampoline ring mix max mi mixture again. As you remember before, it got wild last time we had the trampoline. I'm going to see if the trampoline's up for it. I know when we were putting that bar in that we may have cut a little bit too much off, and that's why there's some slight but y'all this trampoline's been with us a long time we have done its worst if you remember if you don't remember how the trampoline got broke the mat got broke i got mad i threw a brick it did some damage it ripped and that little hole went and it eventually just died but anyway on that bombshell i will put my address and i'm gonna share this on facebook if you want and on twitter and if you want to be a part of our Royal, of our only one way in and one way out pay-per-view, and you live near us, and you're willing to sign the little build, building waiver saying that it's oh that you're not going to sue if you get hurt in this match, because you might get hurt. I don't know. AR, and also by signing the liability waiver, you're also agreeing that we can record you and post it on YouTube. Because if you're not going to let us record you on YouTube, then you don't need to even come here to begin with the first way. But a lot of people don't care. They're like, hey, 15 minutes of fame, and I can tell my family members about it, that I'm a YouTube, that I was on YouTube for a few minutes on a video. Yeah, buddy. But yeah, everybody, on this bombshell, I'm in this video now. Uh, I apologize, but we, we didn't have no video today, because I know y'all like some of the songs I play. But please like, share, comment. Please tell people about Alabama Backyard Wrestling so that maybe we'll get more subscribers and we'll grow. But everybody on that bombshell, uh, I'm going to end this video now and I'm going to get inside and enjoy the rest of my night. And on that massive bombshell that got dropped on a rant and killed that poor guy that liked humping goats, good night.